Day two, let's go. Y'all ready for this? So today I had a phone call with a potential client up in Detroit, Michigan. I thought this might be a really good opportunity for me to record myself talking because I'm probably not as good at pitching my services as I think I am. So I hope that by doing this, I shed a little bit of light on what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. I don't know. I don't know, I guess we'll see. So I understand that the video looks really bad, um, mainly because it's the front-facing camera of an iPhone 7 flipped upside down on the dashboard of my car. We're, 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 we're taking this journey together. See how this goes. This is Evan. So basically that house, it was the first one that I had done. It was just like a real estate. Uh, my coworker, she was selling her house and she came to me because her realtor came to her and said like this would sell a lot quicker if we had a video because she's had a lot of success with real estate video. So she asked me and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I've got the equipment for it to make it look really buttery and, and high quality. Buttery and high quality. So initial impression there, I definitely told him right away that this I'm, I'm really new to this type of video project, which probably, I mean, like, it's honesty, but it's probably not honesty for the best. Don't do that. So, yeah. I went and took care of it, um, and kind of just did that walkthrough. Yeah. Evmo Productions is just me. Evmo Productions is just me. That's true. That's the only part of that whole, like, 30 second span that I actually sounded confident. I kind of explained to him the instance of, in which I did a real estate video for another uh, person and I think that video turned out pretty great but I, I don't sound like it went great in that little spiel luckily he had seen that video so uh, he, he knows what the work looks like but I just don't sound confident at all I, I really need to work on that and, and to give you a little bit more background of, of like what I do basically um, I work full-time for a, a non-for-profit I'm a media manager basically in their marketing department I just do all their digital external communication and, and videos and, and uh, photos but that, I mean, my, my side hustle is kind of doing all these, these awesome. video projects for either organizations. I do a lot of wedding films, but ultimately where, where I like to kind of mingle is, is uh, doing work with other businesses and telling their stories and kind of helping them get their culture out to the world and kind of market themselves. So the way I understand, and, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but but with, with your business. This, and this is where I go on a little bit of a tangent on my understanding of their business. Even though he hasn't told me anything about his business yet, I'm going on a little bit of a spiel on what I think he does. I don't think that's good. I should have just waited until he told me what he does uh, because I may not have nailed on the head exactly what he wanted me to perform. So just, just wait, be a little bit more patient with that kind of stuff. To be honest, to make one of these videos look incredible, you really don't, I mean, especially with technology and where it's at today, you know, you don't need that much. I've got a really, really. Okay, don't downplay your skills. Me saying that it's not that hard to make this kind of video makes it sound like my services are cheap and not worth it. In reality, it does take a lot of technique and skill and know how to make this video. But me saying, I was, I was simply trying to say that for me, it's not hard to, to make this video. But I definitely didn't convey that by saying, it's really not that hard to make this kind of video. <laughs> a nice camera that shoots incredible footage. I've got a gimbal that makes all the shots look incredibly smooth. So oftentimes that's, that's all I need. And you know, I've got the know how to kind of tie a story to it. So it's, it's really, kind of boiled down to, to what your guys' experience, what you liked and what you didn't like with um, with this previous company. And it's my job to kind of enhance on, on their features and, and kind of jut off on, on in ways that you guys might prefer. You know, that I'm, I'm very flexible because it's just me. I do this thing where I almost have an out-of-body experience and I hear myself talking and what I'm saying and then I start overanalyzing everything that I say and I get hung up on words real easy. Um, I think that was an instance of, of me getting hung up on a word and not knowing exactly what to say. So I, I kind of just exited the tangent, which I thought I was doing pretty okay there. So definitely need to work on a pitch. <clears throat> That was a lot, but overall, I'm hopeful. Cautiously hopeful. Well, my initial thought there is let's build a relationship. Let's get me there, and let's let's rock it out. Let's let's do a, a really amazing kick face video, 
and then see if this relationship blossoms. It sounds like it should, but yeah, um, you know, this was this was fun. Later, players. And I think that's my new favorite way to end a video. So uh, let me know what you think about that type of analysis. I, I, I know that I definitely did some things right and missed on some opportunity there. But um, yeah, let me know what to think. Later, players. Uh -huh.